as the weather cools off, maybe you're lacing up your running shoes. The Louisiana Marathon's just around the corner. Tonight in Healthline, Graham Hawkins explains how a Baton Rouge doctor uses technology to help runners go faster. The early morning sun is fuel for avid runners like Arielle DeVille. I've been running for about two and a half, three years now. I usually run three to four times a week. It's great exercise, but not without its risks. Some studies show up to 80% of runners are injured each year. Shin splint issues, a T-band problem. Today, she's hopping on a treadmill to hopefully prevent those injuries and improve her personal best. Everyone runs a different way. We're not trying to get everyone to run the same way, but we know there's some things really associated with injuries. Dr. Casey Hill has spent his entire career watching runners. Now he's taking it a step further. This treadmill is equipped with high-speed cameras and a timing unit that measures the feet with infrared light at one thousandth of a second. What I want you to watch is not letting your knees kind of dip in. From head to toe, runners get a detailed look at their biomechanics. They're able to see their mistakes in real time and slow motion. One is overstriding. That's a very big one that we see. And so we teach people to not reach out so far and to land a little closer to them. That's been shown to greatly reduce injury risk. You don't see this as a runner. You you think you're doing everything right. Arielle was surprised to learn she was overstriding and has weakness in her hips. Do you feel a stretch oh, in yeah. the hip flexor? Right. Oh. Uh -huh. The prescription? Perfect. Exercises and physical therapy that target her specific needs. Changing some technique things, we can actually make a difference in three weeks. They really kind of focus on it and we give them some feedback. Strengthening three to six weeks. <laughs> The hope is that the three-hour process in here makes for a better experience out there. Graham Olkins, WAFB 9 Healthline. The full running analysis costs 275 bucks, but there are cheaper training options. They're available, too.